Well, what is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time, we took care of the legendary fish. Let's go visit Uncle Fo Let's go to Story Mission today. Sense. Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Or you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. house goes. Oh, 
Let's skip it. We don't want that. And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Peacher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. No. Uh-oh. Is what we're looking for. I thought you was... Where the hell? <laughs> that was a mission? Alright. So guys, the plan is... I don't think that was very long at all. We have challenges we need to accomplish. So I'll meet you guys in a moment. Alright, so I decided to do Bandit 3. And for Bandit 3, you either rob or fence 3 stage code. Really easy mission. Just loot lock boxes. Um, I ended up stealing a stagecoach. Oh, this is not going to count, is it? Horses come back. All right, good horse. All right, and hoping this counts. Yes, my karma's taking a hit. Big deal. All right. And what we're gonna do is, can we just go ahead and fence this covered wagon? Yes, we can. Sweet. Thank you, Seamus. And side note, this is probably where we're gonna. I'm uh, uh, our next recordings will be definitely a different day because I have to go do emergency stuff. So, guys, next time on Red Urge there, 2, well, I'll make sure I get it. Before I do anything. Seems to be in order. I'll take it. Thank you, Seamus. Give me money. Yeah. Pleasure. We just did this five seconds ago. Bandit 4. Alright, awesome. And for Bandit 5 is what? That's the easiest thing in the world. We can do that. 
later. I'll see you guys then. Alright, so I decided, let's do a gang hideout. We haven't done one of those in a really long time. And there's two of them left, and they're both in New Austin, so we couldn't do it with Arthur anyway. So we're going to head to Thieves Landing, a place that we've kind of never been. But, you're wondering why I have a bow. Because... That was a bad shot. Oh. What the hell? Alright. So, Thieves Landing was a minor area in Red Dead 1. So, it turned into a gang hideout for some reason. Anybody else want to fight? That was dumb. The freak? Del Lobo's game that we talked about briefly a couple episodes ago. Is that dynamite? Next. Come on, you guys can do better than that. There are only two left. You gotta be kidding me, that was it. I'm kind of disappointed. This is not anywhere as I expected. I have no money. There's got to be something here. Like, can't go until in the building. You guys are killing me. Okay. There we go. That's money. <laughs> Dollar eighty. Was that? Did that consider one of them? It did. Dang. Eighty nine point two. I think it jumped up like point four. Okay. So, you know that was easy. I'll be at the next one. Why not? All right. The last gang had it. God bless it, game. Why do you do this? I didn't realize my things on too. Huh. All right. So, our last was actually back at Fort Mercer. If you guys are familiar with Fort Mercer, Fort Mercer is where a significant thing happens. So, God damn, it's it's Dang, that actually hit. Well, I kind of wasn't ready for that to hit. Uh, let's get our monsters out. Oh, you guys are you guys are. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. Maybe I did. Ooh, there's like four of them just waiting for me. 
Oh, we can push on here. That wasn't. There's hills! Okay, this one's tougher just because I'm dumb. Do the fire and flames. Next! 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 I wasn't ready for that. Holy cow, okay. Okay, I see you. I wasn't ready for that. I want a rematch. That ooh, I wasn't ready for that. Okay. They think they won. They think, ooh, ow. All right. studied this horse all right wait where's stay stay here boy there it is all right rematch time Ooh, ang that angered me a little bit. Oh, just go straight to the wood. Floor. Takes care of him, cheater. All right. You know I'm mad when I'm actually trying to kill everybody. Excuse me. Oh. 
Okay, remember how I said it's, it's not that hard? Proud of them for making it hard. for that again. Fool me once, shame on me. Shame on you. Fool me twice, well, I'm gonna kill you. Can I go in here? Of course not. Okay. It's a cannon! Oh! Ouch. Okay, that didn't happen. I'm coach. Wait. Did he just kill himself? I got I got to ask. How did He literally just died for no reason. Is that 89.5 is a good place to end for today. Guys, thanks for watching Red Air Edition 2. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. Oh, you know. I'll see you then.